okay, we're rolling. It's okay, you must be more happier with that performance than you were after week one. Yeah, I'm honestly a little bit speechless at times. The girls came out to play. Um, we had some fantastic tries. You know, Bitsy coming off um, the bench, coming right in, scoring that uh, try right off a kick was amazing. Janine cutting up through the middle. I mean, that stuff we've been working on the training park for a few months, and it's taken us a while to execute. So today was a good day to see that come to life. And the first half was very tight, very cagey affair. Japan had a lot of possession. What did you say at half time to change things around? Because you came out really firing. Uh, it was just a quick reminder that um, we're, we're here to play, we're ready to play, um, and that the game was ours still for the taking. You know, Japan came out super great in that first half. We knew they would. They're a fantastic team. Um, but it was just one of those, a um, little bit more belief in our system, a little bit more trust in it, and it came to life. Is it a case of you were a little bit more clinical, you took those opportunities today, whereas you perhaps didn't in your opening game? Yeah, I think a little bit of excitement crept in in that first half, so we were maybe a little bit flatter, didn't give ourselves time and space. In the second half, you saw that um, you know, we got a little more depth, we were able to get our speedsters on the ball with space in front of them, and uh, you see what happens when you can stretch the ball wide to wide. And Aleph Kelter in the centre had a real influence on that second half. Yeah, Aleph's an outstanding player. Uh, you know, I hate to uh, tackle her, a lot of people hate to tackle her, so why not put her up in that overwhelming channel, right into some of the other centres and uh, let her cut up a few people. And you got the bonus point, which obviously is important in what could be a very competitive pool. Yeah, you know, we came out here with a very simple task, which wasn't just to win, but to win and get a few more extra points on the board, because uh, as we all know, any place is up for grabs still. There's one more game left, so every point really matters. And of course, Japan really made, did really make you work for that. They kept coming back at you time and time again. Yeah, they, I, you know, I said it earlier, they're a great team. I really enjoyed playing them today. Um, they, they play fast, they play quick. Their nine's absolutely electric. Total respect to her and the way she plays and leads that team. So um, I hope they go really well in the remainder of the tournament. And is that a, a challenge that you perhaps don't face when you play other teams? Uh, yeah, you know, I think uh, we'll just keep the focus on ourselves from here on out and uh, just bring our speedsters to life, bring our defense to life, and uh, continue to remain a really physical team. And of course, it's Canada up next, a side you know very well. Yeah, Canada's been having a really great tournament. Um, it's been a little bit since we've seen them now in June, and I think both teams are going to be really different. And what, how important is it for U.S. to play well against Canada? Because we know the rivalry. Canada have had one on you a little bit like recently. How important is you turn that around here? Yeah, I think uh, Canada or not Canada, it doesn't really matter at this phase. You know, we're in this huge tournament, the Rugby World Cup. So um, a win is what we need. A win is what we're going to go after. It doesn't matter who gets in our way of that. Great. Thanks, Kate. Thank you.